Hey everyone, this is Rob and Michelle and welcome to the Boonbait podcast on everything you need to know about old school RuneScape. So this week up on the locket, of course, the first thing we're going to talk about as always is the account updates, tell you what we've all been up to, tell you what Michelle's been up to. I like you say all, oh, there's so many of us yeah, here. Yeah, so many, all, all the entire team. All two. Yeah. <laughs> And the second thing that we're going to be talking about is um, video updates. We've been coming out with a lot of videos as always and quite a few RuneScape videos actually, which is really nice. So we have uh, that to look forward to. And the third thing is actually going to be the update for this week. Pretty exciting. It's actually some new content, so that's really nice. It's going to be the Shooting Stars update and I'll go over that more. So the last thing we're going to talk about is kind of a curveball that... Uh, Michelle doesn't really know about, but it's about the like crashers with the upcoming update. They made some changes to Corp, and so I kind of wanted to talk about that. And also, there's kind of a lot of drama is always surrounding PvP, so I kind of <laughs> wanted to like go over that and get like everyone, I guess, is opinion and see what Michelle thought about it because we don't do a lot of PvP, but obviously a lot of other people do. So I kind of wanted to, I guess, discuss it and see like our thoughts on the different things that are coming out of the pvp community right now cool oh and we also have a question too we actually got a question and we could say that at the end as well oh uh, yeah yeah so we do have it yeah do not let me forget <laughs> okay yeah so we did get a question on twitter and we'll go ahead and answer that at the end so if you're only listening for just the single question you asked us on twitter then you can skip, skip all the way no, just skip all the way to the end <laughs> So before we get into anything else, Michelle, how are you doing? I am doing great. Thank you for asking, Rob. Oh, amazing. <laughs> amazing. Uh, so I haven't been really working on anything specific this past week because, I don't know, I haven't wanted to like commit to doing anything, I guess. So I've just been like kind of AFK fletching and stuff. Nice. I did get my fishing up to 85, though, so that's pretty exciting. Oh, super exciting. Yeah, only six more levels to go till I'm where I need to be. Yeah, I might as well just get to 99. Yeah, but my total is 1950 now, and I think that's a few up from last week, so... Dang, you're almost there. Oh, I'm so close to 2000. Yeah. I can't wait till I get access to those super worlds. super close. Oh my gosh. It's a big achievement. I'm not even at 1900 yet. Yeah, I mean, it feels close right now, but at the same time, since all of mine are like 76 and higher, they take so long to level for some of these skills. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I've just kind of been doing whatever. What about okay. you? Um, I've been, I guess, kind of working on Melee, but um, that's mostly for like the Wyvern video that I've been working on since the dawn of time now. Yeah, how's the... Well, we'll get to the videos soon. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> yeah, so I've just been doing a, a lot of combat, killing a lot of skeletal wyverns. And on top of that, actually, it, it was kind of nice. Uh, I guess most people don't know, but I made the majority of my gold f uh, from flipping. Oh. And so I decided to make a video on that. So if any of you are interested in flipping or don't know what flipping even means, maybe go check out our YouTube and uh, see what that's all about. So that was... Mostly what I was working on. It was nice getting back into flipping because I haven't done it in actually some time. That's how you made like all your gold before. Yeah, I've made like I think probably closer to like 400 million gold oh my doing gosh. just flipping. And so uh, once my account actually kind of got a little bit higher stats, I kind of moved over more to PVM money makers instead of flipping. Mm -hmm. But so it was kind of nice, um, I guess, getting back into it and doing it again for the video. Yeah, it's pretty informative too. So the first time that I watched it, I wasn't really paying attention. And I think I made Rob feel bad because <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, I still don't really get it. And he was like, well, okay then. And then I watched it again and actually <laughs> really listened. And I finally understand because I never understood flipping before. I thought that you had to like do math. No, you don't have to do math. No, you don't have to do math at all. It's just because every time he would help me on flipping, I would just hear numbers. And I was like, too much numbers. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's, I mean, there is like some math, but it's like 1% math. And the method is actually really, really easy once you get it. It takes like 
when you watch the video, just make sure to turn on your brain like 10%. And yeah. Don't be like me and be like, oh, I'm just going to listen while I do other stuff and read articles. No, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of yeah, hard to pay attention. Yeah, you actually have to pay, pay attention to understand how to flip. But once you get it, it's it's it really is like riding a bike. Like it's really hard to not know how to flip after you understand the methodology behind it. And he does go through multiple methods too. Some are yeah. more high risk than others. I go through like three different methods. Yeah. So if any of you are concerned with losing money there's the high quantity method is that's what i'm probably gonna do probably the most safest way in my opinion because yeah. i i have lost uh like multiple millions on single flips so maybe don't do that method and do the higher quantity method because it's hard to lose that much money yeah it's very informative though i would recommend that you guys watch it because it's so hard to make gold if you're like me so what's like you before I got my big drop, I mean, I just wasn't good at making gold. Remember, I already talked about how it, by the time I made my first mill, Rob was already at like 20 something mill and had like all this great armor. And I only got it because someone paid me to let me kill, let them kill me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not good at making gold. Back in the old bounty I'm, hunter days. I'm better now that I am like higher levels. But if you're like mid level, it's seems pretty sick yeah shout out to all everyone that would just go into the bounty hunter world and let people kill them for money that's how i made my first mill i think yeah. i made two mil i was wow. rolling in the deep back then yeah big baller shout out <laughs> just to adele. stand there i'd be like kill me <laughs> shout out to adele and uh yeah so i guess that's pretty much uh all for our accounts i hopefully am gonna be I'm doing some more pvm content and maybe even some more money makers soon so Oh, one, that to look forward to. one thing I did talk about last week, I said that I was going to start playing this game that I heard about called Franbo. And so I bought the game. It was fun. I was taking a video and within five minutes I stopped the video because it was like surprisingly gory and our page is not really gory. So I was like, oh, okay, I'm not going to post this. <laughs> yeah, it's funny because like this isn't like an explicitly like a, a child friendly channel, but I don't want, like, when you are watching this, if, like, you have kids around or something like that, to yeah. be concerned about turning it off or anything like that. I don't even like gory stuff. It was, like, cartoon style, so it wasn't, like, super gross or anything, but it was enough for me to, like, not want to look directly at it while I was playing the game. Yeah, like, if you were <laughs> watching the YouTube video and your niece was watching over your shoulder, you probably wouldn't be playing My it. sister would be very angry with me if that happened. <laughs> Yeah, so I guess that's kind of the, more the feel I guess we're going for. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so I guess that's pretty much it. We can jump into the, the next thing. Any like videos? Uh, yeah, I think. What else? What other videos? We were going to have. No. You made the Valheim uh, mining video too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I was mostly just finishing up the account updates. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> we'll segue into videos, which is basically the same yeah, thing. Yeah, let's, let's uh, slowly segue into the same thing we we're just talking about, which is the uh, <laughs> videos. But uh, yeah, so the first video I guess we'll talk about is like I will quickly talk about how I made a Valheim video that should be coming out the day that we're making this, which is Wednesday. Yesterday. So yesterday. It should already be out. It's scheduled to go out. So if you like Valheim and want to know a little bit more about the game, you can check out the channel. Uh, not too much about that. <laughs> and like I said, I was working on a flipping video and it's already out. Surprisingly, it's doing really well. I guess a lot of people are interested in flipping and money making. I guess kind of unsurprisingly. Oh yeah, unsurprisingly, I'd say. Yeah. So uh, if you want to like compensate your wealth in RuneScape, or if you have no money, or want to know how to make money, then probably check out that video. It's a really good. Yeah. Uh, yeah, really good starting place for how to make money. And do you want to tell them about, about our new video coming yes. up? Yes. I was just raising my eyebrows suggestively like, you going to say it? No. Yeah, go ahead. So we are planning, if you watched the flipping video already, you heard about it. We're going to have, Rob called it a friendly little competition. I'm just calling it a straight competition okay. on who can make a free-to-play account earn a bond faster. Yeah. I know it's going to be you because even though I watched the flipping video, like, it's going to take me some practice. I'm probably not even going to do flipping on it, honestly. I'm probably just going to be skilling and like fighting and stuff. But yeah, so we're doing a competition. We hopefully will have the first of those videos coming out soon. Yeah. And we're just going to be showing you like different ways to make money and different ways that we play. So it's funny because we both filmed like our first part already. And Rob's is like 
already doing money making stuff and I'm still yeah. just killing cows, raising my skills, not even like selling anything. I'm just trying to, like, I just want to get my skills up so I can go and fight bigger stuff for money. Yeah, I think I've already made like over 10K. And it's, yeah, it's funny. I'm looking at the bond <laughs> price right now and it's 4.7 million. So that's, it's actually not that bad. Uh, I have 200 gold. Yeah, I mean, that's, it's really nice that it's 4.7 million because if this video was being made like six months ago, I think there were like six and a half mil. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they were crazy expensive when the pandemic like was first really getting rolling. So mm -hmm. now that they're back down to 4.7, I think that is much more manageable for a little competition that we're having. Yeah, I am yeah. very excited about it. And it's funny because I realized like... It's so funny how bad you are whenever you first make an account. Like, these cows are almost killing me. Oh, yeah, dude. It's serious. Yeah. And I don't, obviously didn't go and buy any armor. And I realized Yikes. after I spent an hour fighting these cows that I was not wearing my shield the entire time. Yeah, that helps. <laughs> yeah. yeah so help. I just had a single dagger and I would just stab them and they'd just start killing me. Yeah, they're just like beating your face in with their hooves. And yeah, you're just literally. like, what is happening? Just Even dying to the calves. Smacking around with their udders on your face. <laughs> <laughs> so gross. <laughs> kung, it's like kung fu. Uh, what was that movie? Kung fu hustle. Kung fu panda. No, no, no. Oh. There's, there's a kung fu movie. <laughs> I swear. There's a kung fu movie where he fights a cow and the cow beats him with its udders. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's me. That's what you will be seeing shortly in yeah. this video. So if you know that a really obscure reference I just made, then that's pretty much it. Yeah, it's kind of funny because. The idea is obviously this competition to earn a bond, and I feel like that's what Rob's videos are going to be. And mine are just going to be reliving my glory days and doing all these quests and yeah, not making you're, any You're money. actually just remaking an, an account. You're not even trying to make money. <laughs> actually, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it's funny because like she's starting and building her account so she can do PVM content, and I am just doing like traditional old old school money makers where I like am buying skirts and selling them on the Grand Exchange. Yeah, we know who's going to win the competition, but... It'll be fun to see the different methods, <laughs> though, because not everyone will like buying skirts for an hour. No, I think it's boring. That's yeah. why I don't want to do it. Yeah, exactly. So I think a lot of people are going to like the way you're going, where you're actually doing content to get your money. I'm the fun one here. Yeah, I'm literally just going to be buying arrows and pickaxes and selling them to the Grand Exchange because oh that is gosh. the fastest way to make money. Are you going to do that the entire time, you think? No, uh, the, do my, something fun. No, my goal for <laughs> the for the series is to like showcase as many different money makers as possible. Okay. Um, in free to play, so it'll essentially be a guide. If oh, you cool. need to make money as a free to play character, it'll show. I'm gonna have probably by the end of it, twenty to thirty plus different methods on how to make like a hundred k plus an hour. So wow. If there's other stuff that you want to do, then yeah, check out that series because if like you enjoy or you don't enjoy whatever money maker you're doing right now, then yeah, hopefully it'll give you like other options. Yeah, I was like reading through a list of free to play money makers being like, oh, should I do this like the most efficient way? And they all sound so boring. So yeah. I was like, I want to come up with my own ways. Yeah, yeah. So there's like a lot of like, so, methods that yeah, you can do. We're probably not going to be the best money making methods, but we're going to make it more interesting. Yeah, I think the, the video idea is super interesting. Yeah, because everything's on there is like just go and collect a bunch of stuff and sell it over and over again. And I was like, oh, God. Yeah, because I mean, if I, <laughs> if I wanted to, I made a bond not too long ago just by buying and selling bronze arrows yeah but you're not gonna do that yeah and by, <laughs> by the end of it i had like six hundred thousand bronze arrows that i sold oh, over the course of a few days and that was enough for a bond wow yeah so yeah as well as just a competition to make the bond first we're gonna see fun ways to make the bond yeah exactly because it's like i said most people probably don't want to spend 10 hours topping worlds and buying bronze arrows mm -hmm. so yeah that's yeah. the goal I don't even know if I'm really going to consult that list. I'm just going to kind of do what I want and see what happens, <laughs> which is funny because even on a member's world, it took me like forever to get a mill and oh, I'm yeah. just hoping I can get four and a half. Yeah. I, I can't wait till we're on member's world because there's, oh my God, there's like multiple times as many like options for making even more money per hour. Yeah. We're already thinking about a sequel to this series, which is just maintaining your bonds on like a mid-level account. Yeah. Like for instance, like or some of the best, <laughs> like some of the best money makers or some of the best and easiest money makers in free to play make you between like one and 200,000 per hour. 
and maybe 300,000 if it's like one of the best methods. And for instance, if you just bought and then resold nails in <laughs> members worlds, you can make like three to 400 K and that's like one of the worst ways. Oh so gosh. it's just like so many more options that make you so much more once you get into members. And so that'll be really cool once we finish this part and go on to the members part. Yeah, one part I was so surprised about was going to free to play and seeing all the skills that you can't level up. And I was yeah. like, oh my gosh, yeah, you, it's like all of them. You don't even get access to more than half of the skills. That is so weird. Yeah, it was unfortunate because it's like you slowly discover going back to free to play, you're like, oh, I can just make thread for bows. It's like, oh no, <laughs> you, you can't. You can make wool but you cannot make thread you can't even make thread and just sell it no like you can <laughs> the the what's it called and by thread i mean bowstring like you can yeah. you can get like the wool and you can spin the wool but you can't spin it into bowstring that is so weird yeah because I mean, that would be sense. that would be fletching <laughs> that's so funny yeah like the first part would be crafting and then you would use the bowstring for fletching which is obviously a members only thing so yeah there's a couple things i was thinking about doing and i was like wait that's fletching <laughs> yeah exactly or it's like yeah it's just like simple things like that like oh maybe i can make money crafting it's like no no you really can't or you really fletching, can't do anything or yeah like thieving no you can't do any of that so yeah, hopefully we'll have that video coming out soon. It's probably just going to take a while for... Rob does the videos, the, the YouTube editing. videos, the editing. Yeah. And I just edit the podcast, so it might take a while to edit the first one because... It is actually, like, quite a bit of editing. Yeah. Because it's essentially twice as much material as normal. Uh, yeah, obviously we usually just do... He does videos, I do videos, we upload them separately. So yeah. kind of combining it. So this is, like, uh, in this video, we're essentially doing, like four to six hours of play time and then we're cutting it down to hopefully like 10 to 15 minutes long mm -hmm. so like it's gonna be a lot of editing but like i said it's pretty it's like a pretty cool idea so i don't really yeah. mind it's and just gonna take a little longer that's only gonna be on the first video of the series and probably the last just to compare but the rest of the time we're just gonna be uploading videos separately and just put whose account it is on and stuff yeah. Although so you can choose your favorites. I, I really like the <laughs> idea of like the combined videos. So if maybe if, if I it's like not it, too hard, you think you'll yeah, keep doing it? Yeah. Maybe if it's like not super time consuming and if I like the format as much as I think I will, then maybe all the videos will be. That would be awesome. Both of us. So you can get all of the different um, like aspects from each of our different methods all in one video. My first time hearing this. <laughs> yeah, I was. I've been thinking about that, but I don't. I don't want to commit to it because I'm already regretting. That's why you haven't said it. Yeah, I'm already regretting my commitment to the wyvern task that I, I was I'm just doing, gonna so. say. So is this gonna leave a lot of time for the wyverns that you promised? Yeah, exactly. So <laughs> now that I've already broken one promise, I don't want to like be a perpetual promise Liar. breaker. So. Um, oh, you know what else has been um, distracting the both of us, really? Oh, god! Have you ever heard of Leaf Blower Revolution? It will change your life in the yeah. worst possible so, way. If any of you are <laughs> at all experienced or interested in <laughs> idle games. And blowing leaves away. <laughs> yeah, and leaf blowing. So it's an idle game, Leaf Blower Revolution on Steam. It's oh, free. Oh, my gosh. It's my favorite game in the world. <laughs> yeah, it sounds mega dumb, but it's honestly super fun. So if you want your life to be consumed by blowing leaves around then i don't know maybe check it out i was thinking about making a video on it but it's i don't know it's too silly and i don't even know what i would make the video about so i think you'd have to make it from the beginning anyway. i don't think it'd be a bad idea because he did it much more efficiently i thought it was lame he was playing it and i was like all right let's go to bed and i was like falling asleep he's like i'll be there in 10 minutes and it was like half an hour because yeah. he was playing the leaf blowing game and then the next morning he was making breakfast and i was like oh i'll go play it for you and then i was like this is the most fun I've ever had in my life. Yeah, leaf blowing <laughs> is really sick. You just move the mouse in circles and just watch the leaves blow away and yeah. upgrade stuff. And it's That's so That's actually best. one of the nicest things about the game is that um, you don't have to click a lot because in yeah. a lot of idle games, you have to click because you're either like like cookie clicker or like any like like thing where you have to like constantly like kill enemies to get more money or stuff like that. That's usually what idle games are about, but this one is like not click intensive at all. So it's super chill i guess in comparison and you know what the really fun part is about it i've realized is it's a lot like runescape where you're like oh i do it 
and then I'm able to upgrade something and yeah. I click it and it's satisfying. Yeah. It's, it's very, but very it's much to RuneScape. faster than RuneScape. So, well, it is until you get to the part <laughs> I was at where I stopped because it takes so long. But he still keeps it idly on, though. No, I don't. All right, we're done with that. No more idle <laughs> talk. Stop shaming me. <laughs> if you want to play Leaf Blower Revolution, go check it out on Steam. It's not sponsored. And so, should be. Uh, we've spent enough time on yeah, it. It should be. All right, so moving on to the next thing on the locket, it's going to be the Shooting Stars update. So the update Woo! that came out today, and we talked about this last week because they were talking about bringing it out, which is why there was no update, including the server issues. And luckily, here we are. So it was only it's only been two weeks, I think, since they initially pulled this. Mm -hmm. It's actually the third week in a row we've talked about it. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of it's kind of crazy. They I've never seen them come out with stuff this quick. I mean, I know. Did we like miss it months ago or something? I don't know because I feel like the first time I heard about them wanting to implement it was just three weeks ago, and now yeah, here it is. It is here. This is really fast. I wish everything was like this. <laughs> yeah, so it's really cool. Um, if you missed the other episodes, one. I would check them out, but two, I'll give you the too long and didn't watch a version of Shooting Stars. <laughs> so um, Shooting Stars essentially is literally that, just stars that are going to fall from the sky around all of Gilnor, and you will be able to mine them. So it's pretty cool. Um, I'll have a link to the notes in the YouTube version of the podcast in the description. So if you want to check out the notes themselves, you can see everything that it has to offer. But... Um, I'll quickly go over no the notes real quick. Uh, mm -hmm. So you need a telescope in order to see what area that it's going to drop in. And the improvements on the telescopes go oak, teak, and mahogany. And the only difference is it'll give you a smaller and smaller, more accurate window of when the um, actual shooting star will actually drop. And Michelle already tried some of the shooting stars. Yeah. Should to... I say my experience or should I wait till after you explain more? Uh, I mean, you can just explain it. I mean, it wasn't successful overall. Hey, spoilers. But, um, <laughs> it was not successful. But one thing that she did find out is a lot of the houses on the house party, house world. party world already have uh, all of the best telescopes. So if you don't have one, you can just go there and check out theirs. Yeah, I didn't even pretend I was going to make one. I just went immediately there. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so tell us your experience about hunting yeah. shooting stars so i kind of lucked out because they spawn like every two hours ish yeah and whenever i logged in this morning it said that it was gonna be dropping in like 20 to 22 minutes and i was like all right nice and it was gonna be dropping in mistelin yeah you pronounce that mistelin? yeah mistelin i was like so prepared i had like teleports to get all around there to lumbridge to the swamp, to Draenor, to Edgeville, all these areas. And as soon as, like, my timer went off, I, like, switched to a world with less people and I was searching literally everywhere because I didn't know that there's a list of designated places where they're going to drop. Yeah. I was looking everywhere. I was, like, all the way zoomed out, just, like, going back and forth, like, really intensely searching for it in all of these places. And also, I don't know... For sure, but I'm now wondering if it drops in different places in every world and I switched worlds and it like wasn't even there because I didn't find it. I was looking for like 10 minutes. I mean, it probably would have disappeared by then anyway, but yeah, never found it. Um, I don't know what happened really. Yeah, me neither. But I was so excited because I really wanted to get it before we recorded and like talk about it, but... Uh, yeah. life doesn't always happen how you want it to happen so if you don't want to run around like a chicken with their head cut off like michelle literally going back and forth searching so intensely because i didn't know that they had specific drops yeah you're <laughs> gonna want to definitely go and check the Rune <laughs> runescape news page or like i said the description will have a link to the notes and there you can find all of the landing sites so there's landing sites in mistelin caridian desert wilderness asgarnia karamja and a bunch of other places. How many places are there in Mistelin? Because um, I, I looked in about six. 102. Yeah, there's only six in all of Mistelin. <laughs> so luckily, <laughs> um, luckily for the most part, all of the landing sites are either near banks or near places people would already be mining. Yeah, I didn't so, know that. So yeah, they did that obviously on purpose. So hopefully you have a better chance at finding one and being you know, prepared. Hindsight is twenty twenty, and that makes much more sense. <laughs> yeah. They did say that uh, originally uh, RuneScape, when this came out on old, old school RuneScape, 
um, it had fewer landing sites. So now that they've brought it back in its new version, the numbers of landing sites has nearly doubled. Wow. So it was less before. Yeah, it was way less. Would have been easier to find though. Uh, yeah, probably. And um, like I said um, in previous weeks, you can do this on free-to-play, but one, there's no telescopes, so you're probably going to have to just find it by luck. And two, you only get half as many rewards. And three, you can't uh, spend the currency that you get from mining it. So, oh, you can't? No, because you That's can't. A there's no um, NPC that spawns there. You can't actually spend it. But it uh, doesn't mean you can't save it because you do get rewarded Stardust whenever you mine it. So you can save it. And then whenever you become a member, then you can spend it. Okay. So I guess true. that's okay. Uh, one thing they did add uh, before. So after we finished our original podcast when they pulled this, they actually added something after we finished the podcast, which oh. is the um, Celestial Ring Combination. So the Celestial Ring, it gives you a plus four hidden mining boost and a, it can give you 10,000 charges to give you double resources. It's the same thing as the mining cape, but um, it's a ring. And I thought we talked about the ring. No, that we did. And they don't okay. stack. The thing we didn't talk about is you can now combine it with an elven signet. Oh, okay. Yeah, so this will give you the Celestial Signet, which gives you the effects of both. You need crafting and smithing at 70. You need crystal shards, a lot of dust, and it is untradeable. Of course. <laughs> and it's not reversible. Oh, yeah, no so, regrets. Yeah, so no regrets. <laughs> if you combine this with a Signet, I think a Signet's like one and a half million right now. So, Sorry about the noise. Uh, you could lose some money there, but unless you like it and like mining then it's probably a good investment okay yeah no one likes mining so yeah exactly um so the bolt pouch update went through uh we also talked about this <laughs> previously it's, at first i was like so cool and then by the end of our discussion i was like what's the point <laughs> yeah it's, it's it seems kind of useless for I iron mean, men it would probably make the most sense. yeah for iron men i see it could definitely work or yeah, definitely just pretty much iron men especially ultimate iron men because they have to carry all those bolts with them but true um, yeah, so hopefully that helps someone. Not going to help me. doesn't change my life at all. <laughs> and that's going to be pretty much it for the Falling Star stuff. Um, everything else we've already covered and I don't think is important enough to really talk about. Like I said, you can check out the notes yourself if you're still even further interested. Or you can go try and uh, you know find some shooting stars on your own time and tell us how it goes. Yeah, hopefully someone is able to get it. Yeah, so hopefully that information helps some of you. And if you are a star hunter yourself, then, uh, you know, cool. Hit us up on Twitter and tell us how it was. Also, again, if you have any questions or anything like that, make sure to hit us up on Twitter or DM us on Twitter or Instagram or something. And we answer them on the spot. And we'll also, like we said in the beginning, be answering the one that we got earlier this week. Should we just answer it now? Well, we already said we'd answer it at yeah, the end. Yeah, no, we're going to answer it at the <laughs> end. So... We have, uh, everyone has something to look forward to, the suspense. Ooh, our yeah. single question. Uh, so moving on with the updates, um, they actually added some Pulse 74 changes, which uh, these are actually pretty cool and pretty nice. So what they did is they made a bunch of monsters tagged as demons now. So previously, Ice Fiends, Blood Velds, Imps, Water Fiends, Pyre Fiends, Pyre Lords, Poras, Poor as deer. Never even seen that. I don't even know what that is. Yeah, and also most hellhound types, nice. um, including Cerberus and Bouncer, are now considered demons. Kind of crazy that hellhounds weren't before when they literally have hell in their name. Yeah, also blood valves look like they would be demons. Why would they not be demons from day one? They do look a little demon-y. And so um, what's cool about this is you can do you can use any uh, poor as deer. He looks like he's from a quest. He was once Zamrox from a quest. Person. Oh, Mage Arena 2 mini quest. Yeah. Like the only mini quest I haven't done. <laughs> yeah, I was like, it definitely looks like a quest. But um, so what's cool is that now all these are demons. You can use Demon Bane weapons against them. Hey. Um, I think that's going to be the main big change against all these mobs. So if you have uh, Arc Light, so that does a ton of damage against demons. Um, you can use that if you really want to burn through some like blood belt tasks or something like that. Or actually, this might be a pretty big change for Cerberus, I guess. Because right now... Done... Oh, I can't do Cerberus. Right now, I think the best weapon at Cerberus is the Scythe, which is, of course, 700 mil. So most oh, people... It is? Yeah, most people can't it use that. Is. So maybe the next best in slot is going to be the um, Arc Light now if you have charges. 
Cool. And that's yeah. more easily obtainable for people. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, it's not easily obtainable, but it doesn't cost 700 mil. Well, in comparison to the scythe, it's it is it's super extremely easy. Extremely easy. <laughs> yeah. And it, it, it Most is, things in this game are. <laughs> it is essentially free because you just get it from a quest. Yeah. And you just need to farm in um, uh, what's it called? The underground. Corinne. Yeah, Corinne underground, and you should be able to get it. Cool. So, um, another thing they added is there's a small chance of getting a bird's eggs nest when emptying a full birdhouse. I so, love that so much. Yeah, before you couldn't get eggs, before it was just um, rings and seed nests. Yeah, and if you have seen my, well, I think it was my weekly video. I think it was video. Weekly, yeah. yeah, the eggs you can take to the woodcutting guild and like pray with them at this shrine and it gives you a hundred prayer and it gives you another bird's nest. I think that they're always filled with seeds too. So mm -hmm. it's basically you get extra prayer and extra seeds. Yeah, so it's it's a pretty I nice... I am really excited about that. Yeah, pretty nice quality <laughs> of life. You should see a little bump in money from your uh, birdhouse runs. Super excited. Unfortunately, I was just thinking about, unfortunately, all of these changes we've listed up until now are um, even the stars one are all uh, members changes so unfortunately if you're free sorry to play, free to play yeah i mean you'll get a little bit of a taste from the stars update but not really yeah um, well moving on rest in peace all well, free to play. hopefully we can give you guys some uh information on how to quickly get a bond soon yeah exactly i mean if, <laughs> if, if there's any motivator then it's probably these podcasts because we talk about stuff that is essentially members only oh, yeah, we get so excited practically every week so, you know, they don't have much free-to-play coming out. Yeah, exactly. And I think they do that on purpose, obviously. But... Well, duh. They want to take your money. Yeah. Well, moving on. Um, so the thermonuclear smoke devil has reduced drop chance of tinderboxes, bullseye lantern, pure essence, and kebabs. So essentially <laughs> uh, what they're doing is they're just making the thermonuclear smoke devil worth more. Because essentially now it's one of the easiest to farm as well as one of the least profitable to farm bosses in the game. Really? Yeah, because only, the only thing that he drops that's worth anything is the smoke staff and the occult necklace. How is he easy to farm, though? Because isn't it only like a 1 out of 150 chance of him even spawning? No, he's a he's a boss. You have to go to the boss room and you fight him. Oh, I thought that, that was the superior version. No, no, he's an actual boss. Okay, my yeah. bad. Yeah, so they, he has a lot of trash drops on his loot table, so they just reduced that, it seems. Oh, one thing that's really cool for all you fashion scapers is they added um, dark flippers to the game. What? And I saw on the subreddit there's already pictures of what it looks like. So if you want to check that out, you can. It just looks like purple like flippers, like claws that you have on your feet. He did not have the picture ready to show me. No, I didn't. Currently scrolling, not I finding it. I didn't think that she would want to see it of for some reason. Of course I'd want to see it. I know, They're I know. flippers. Yeah, so they're just flippers. It's the one from the Mogers? uh yes cool yes and no because oh. you see this is what they look like oh i actually like them yeah. i want those as slippers in real life that'd They're be like cool purple claw slippers so you get them by <laughs> getting cool. um you need to get dark claws from uh, scatizo and flippers from the mogers and then you can combine them via the pirate in mostly harmless cool yeah so it's a little fashion scape stuff i don't think it has any actual value besides that but that is cool so one thing that is kind of bleeding into our next topic and i'm going to go a little bit more into that is the corporal beast changes so corporal beast if you don't know is a boss that has 2000 health and usually takes either experienced high level players or very knowledgeable players with multiple accounts even uh, just hearing its it. name terrifies me yeah so what they did is they reduced how much health he heals in large groups they made it so uh, Corporal Beast will no longer... This is the, the big change that is mostly bleeding into the next topic, which okay. Corporal Beast will no longer award loot to iron players if what? it has attacked another player. That sucks. Yeah. So you can't kill it in groups? No. Well, in iron, it's not. that's the point. They even say here that... Um, because and this will be signified by a brazier or brazier actually a brazier abroad a brazier. just hanging out <laughs> yeah so the brazier will be let outside so you know that someone is fighting it and that irons cannot get loot from it wow and the thing is they say that uh, iron man mode is about solo play only so the point is a lot of people were abusing this because you and your maxed buddies that aren't irons can go fight it, and a lot of irons have gotten their spirit shields, their Elijahs this way. 
So, oh my gosh. yeah, it's been an abuse of the system for a long time. So they added this to combat that. Oh, also real quick, if anyone wants to be my max friend to go with me to uh, Corporal Beast, just yeah. hit me up, please. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we'll go into why that is such a controversial change um, in the next topic. I didn't really think of Iron Man like that. I yeah. just thought I was making it harder by necessary. I didn't necessarily think like no friends, nothing. Yeah. <laughs> and so they made some changes to Castle Wars. Um, they proposed these, I guess, in back in November. I don't really participate in Castle Wars, so I didn't really pay attention yeah, to this. I only did it once for a diary, and it was intimidating, I must say. Yeah. Any so, PvP stuff terrifies me. <laughs> yeah, literally. So uh, the potions, they added some potions. Players can no longer trade members in the opposite team, which obviously, why would you want to do that? Except for probably like some weird exploits or something. <laughs> and um, it says players can no longer hop worlds and rejoin castle wars um i don't know if these are significant at all so tweet us if they are if you hate these uh changes let us know yeah if you're a castle wars fiend hit us up yeah fiend one thing that is cool that i think everyone is pretty excited about i'm super excited about I'm looking at pictures right now and it's exciting <laughs> yeah is the clan halls concept so Yay! we talked about clan halls a few weeks back and they are going to be through, you can get to the clan halls via a portal in the hub. And the hub is going to be a little area in the bottom left of the uh, Grand Exchange. You'll be able to go there, recruit people, and search for different clans. And on top of that, that'll be the portal that'll take you to that clan's clan hall. Okay, you know what it reminds me of is like Hogwarts vibes being in their little in their dorm yeah. areas yeah the yeah. Scenes, yeah and i'm like oh the hufflepuff one located under the kitchen it's reminding me of that a lot okay cool <laughs> yeah so on the um, actual notes they have um some concept art which is pretty cool they say they the, they've so got sick. three options for their theme which are going to be a crystalline theme which is based on the Priftonus elf style oh uh, it looks amazing the gothic mansion which is based on the dark mire uh, vampire style for all the emo gods out there yeah and lastly is the generic medieval style it's a classic castle and country home so and it's super adorable yeah so all <laughs> these look really really cool um obviously does that mean that all three will make it and you could just customize it you think nope no yeah unfortunate. so it says which style will make it into the final clans rework no. that's up to you we'll be opening an in-game poll shortly so let us know your favorite i can't choose i know it's like choosing a son it's literally like all three of my personalities yeah. <laughs> split the my emo side my like elfy cute side my other just generic side mm -hmm. that's the majority probably yeah <laughs> i would um highly recommend that if you do plan on voting for this when the poll does come out uh, to check out the artwork because all of them are not vastly different but they are significantly different, different enough to where i'm super bummed that you can't have all three yeah i think i'm actually leaning towards the Priftonus. i'm leaning towards style. the Priftonus, but i love the door in the emo one because it looks like a, it's coffin, a coffin and yeah. i think that is so sick yeah so they all look really cool so check them out and um be prepared for when uh, the poll comes out I wish that they had pictures in color so i could see i know right i wish that they just had it all in game yeah and they're they just black and choose. white sketches uh, they also include that in the preview blog, they showed the clan hub, a small encampment where you'll form your clan, and they provisionally placed in an unused corner in the Grand Exchange, which we just discussed. Yes. Along with the forthcoming gaming tables, since the GE is an existing social area that's easily accessible. Not everyone cool. agreed with that location, though. As an alternative, we could place it in South Falador, like they did in RuneScape 3. And they're open to other locations, so they'll probably have a poll come out for that as well. So if you prefer to have, if you pretty much live in Falador, then you'll probably want to vote for that one. And um, yeah, it's really just, I Everyone guess. Everyone lives in Falador. Yeah, I don't I was know. like, Falador, I'm going to have to run over. I want just to do the GE because I could just teleport right there. Yeah, exactly. I think. What do you think? I think the majority will like the GE, but I can see other people that just like hanging out in, I don't know, like Alita or something like that. So they might want to just have it somewhere super random i yeah I, I just really don't understand why anyone wouldn't want it at the grand exchange maybe someone's like oh i actually just like hang out in miscellanea all the time so well i was also thinking maybe somebody who isn't normally on the standard prayer book oh yeah because for me i'm just like that's just one easy click away i never really search my prayer books unless i need to yeah but i mean there's still like um uh like ge tabs i guess if you have the uh diary so that's like even what do you mean ge tabs uh, like uh, oh, like tabs. the tablets. Okay. Yeah, 
<laughs> I was like, I've never heard of this. I've never heard of this. <laughs> you tried um, to shorten it and I did not catch on. <laughs> yeah. Um, so that's pretty much it for the updates. They added some new merch, I guess. Um, if you want a 20-year cool. RuneScape comic, then... It's actually kind of cool. Yeah, check it out. It looks cool. I'm not going to get that, but it looks cool. They also have some smaller changes. They're talking about the uh, Six Jads Challenge. It's now closed. Mm -hmm. um, Hopefully next week we'll be talking about the winners. Yeah. One thing that's really cool, I, uh, I guess not really cool, but kind of interesting, is that they made it so now you can opt out of dropping food and potions when you die. So that's pretty nice. Mm. You can have it sent to your gravestone instead, which I actually will probably end up doing. I find it really annoying when it's the other way. Especially if it's like... All, if you were like done there anyway and you happen to die and then you're like well now i have to run back for that or just lose your money yeah exactly i think uh, i was confused by that whenever i died recently i went to go buy all my stuff and i was like what happened to all my food and potions um, and it wasn't until i went back that i was like oh <laughs> yeah so you can now opt out of dropping food so whatever version you like there's options for both i know this it's important for a lot of people like funny enough that do corporal beast a lot of them will die on purpose, drop all of their food. Oh, yeah, it is a strategy for some people. Yeah, and then so they can go back and pick up the food on their second life so they can stay there longer and actually get kills at Corporal Beast. So, I mean, there's definitely reasons to keep it on, but I think for the majority of people, you don't need to keep it on or it won't really matter at all either okay. way. Um, one cool thing is their special attack energy will now restore... When a player enter, enters the new Jad challenge, so I guess people were having problems going in there with, like, <laughs> no prayer after losing previously. So, oh, no. Yeah. They also increased the value of Zealot items. These We talked about these not too long ago. You get them from the new minigame that they reworked. Which one? It sounds familiar, but I don't totally remember. It's the one where you get the, the keys. Oh, the Moritania one. Yeah, the Moritania minigame. Mm -hmm. so they was reworked... it Shades of Morton? Yeah, Shades of Morton. So they reworked Shades of Morton recently, and you can get the Zealot items uh, from them. Apparently, they were so low valued that you would protect uh, bones over the Zealot's items on death. What? And so, <laughs> yeah, so they changed it, and now Zealot's items are increased, so they protect over all bones upon death. Good. And um, that is going to be pretty much it. You can, they made some more changes to personal bests and the party in Lumbridge is over, obviously. So they'll see you next year with their next birthday. But that's going to be pretty much it for all the changes this this um, this patch. It's actually quite a bit of changes, though. I'm happy yeah. with it. Yeah, it's actually a ton of stuff. I mean, new content. They teased upcoming content and they teased stuff that's up upcoming, like, in the future that being clans and stuff like that oh my god i can't believe that they taunted us with those three sketches and said choose one yeah i, know. <laughs> I hate that yeah super tease i so. hope that they're just messing with us and they're like psych we did them all yeah so that was that's pretty <laughs> exciting i think overall is a really good update and uh, i'm happy with it so far i am too i hope that i am able to get a shooting star later today yeah hopefully we can <laughs> do that and uh, actually it'd be a pretty good video to come out with so maybe i'll do that Oh, it would. Okay, we should actually try and do that later today then and try to come get a video this weekend. Yeah, maybe. So when you're if watching this... If we could find one. <laughs> yeah, when you're watching this, check out our YouTube channel. And if we're, like, just on it, then there's going to be a video for it. If not, then, uh, like... Harass us and be yeah. like, make a video. <laughs> yeah, hit us up on uh, Twitter or something or subscribe anyways because you're uh, awesome. And we're awesome, so you want to listen to us, and we could just soak in each other's awesomeness. Yeah, exactly. So it's like a stew. Ew. <laughs> you make it sound so, so bad. And everyone's just going to block us and report us now. Yeah, I don't mind. But, um, uh, yeah, so that's going to be pretty much it for the patch. Uh, the last thing I just briefly, I guess, wanted to cover, because I woke up, and over the last few days, there's been, like, Quite a bit of talk about PvP, so I wanted to cover I've been that. I've a lot of memes about it on Reddit whenever I go to find stuff. Yeah, it's it's kind of um, like a thing recently, so I wanted to talk about that. And I wanted to touch on Crashers because there's also a lot of that going on this morning. Okay. So um, this leads back to the Corporal Beast changes. So essentially, Corporal Beast is you go in there and you fight him, and it's open to anyone to come and fight him as well, which is annoying for Iron Man because if an Iron Man is fighting him, there's people literally named I'll crash your corp and they'll just go over and crash these Iron Man's corpse. So rude. Yeah, and it's really annoying because if you don't want that to happen, then you have to pay money to get your own private room. And if you're an Iron Man, you might not have that money or, potentially. Yeah, like Ultimate Iron Man yeah. might not have their cash deck on them and stuff like that. So 
it's just a real pain and it sucks because they're kind of like extorting them and saying like they'll leave their world for like 25 mil and stuff like that yeah so it's it's literally just extortion and whoa that's actually weirdly intense for a video game (laughs) yeah it's really annoying but what's great is i guess a lot of um i was reading through this one iron man's experience and they said that it was like really broken and they need to like have individual iron man worlds which i think at this point would make sense sense, yeah and that's what they did with the god wars dungeons so i don't know why they don't have that for all bosses for iron man hopefully they take that suggestion and run with it maybe not the wilderness bosses but like most bosses should just have their own thing for iron man so that this isn't a problem one thing that's cool is also via that person's experience a lot of the bots got banned immediately Mm. Because uh, crashing is not an offense in itself, but I think with intent to uh, grief other players, it is. If your name is literally, I will crash you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So like if and the extortion one kind of seems like it'd be breaking the rules a little. Yeah, I don't so know if it is, but crashing isn't against the rules, but with a, a troll or a grief intent, I'm thinking it is. So a lot of these players got banned. So that that person said he wasn't having problems anymore. But when the update first came out, apparently it was an issue. Yeah, it's different if you, like, go in and start killing it. And then you're like, oh, I didn't notice this other person was here or something. Or Yeah, exactly. Like rather than being, like, it. you go, you see someone's there, you see they're an Iron Man, and you're like, let's crash this. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so that's super annoying. But, I mean, it's cool that Jagex is kind of, like, on it with moderators. But that shouldn't be happening at all. So I think they need to just work on that further, I guess. I like, wish they're on that with the people in winter taunt. <laughs> well, yeah, that's that's probably not even on their radar. The white supremacists of winter taunt. You don't think that's on their radar? No, I don't think they care at all. That's so depressing if they don't. Yeah. Oh. But um, so and the last thing I wanted to touch on is PvP. So as you said, a lot of people are like kind of upset about PvP, <laughs> and it's funny because a lot of it actually stems from um, not a lot of it, but it's like an ongoing issue is pvp in the wilderness specifically and something that kind of highlighted it even more recently was um there's a content creator named framed and he does a lot of pvp and came out with a video recently where he's locking himself to pv to the wilderness until he gets a pet oh yeah and so it was just kind of funny because a lot of like like a lot of really strongly opinionated people came out of the woodwork because in his video he kind of talks about how um like he doesn't know why no one's in the wilderness and because when you're in the wilderness you just get ganged up on by a bunch of people and they're all accounts yeah so that's like a lot of people's defense and yes. that's always it's always been an issue like the wilderness itself and then his video kind of just like added some more fire to the flame mm-hmm. or fire to the flame some more uh, fuel to the flame rather more fire too why yeah not? well yeah i guess <laughs> literally very fiery flame so yeah it's just a lot of like drama which i thought was really funny because he did bring up some really, like, I don't know if he was trolling, but some really funny points where he was talking about, like, why no one goes to the wilderness or anything like that, where, like, seemingly multiple, multiple, multiple times that in the video he was getting, like, ganged upon by clans. And, it. like, he's obviously a very experienced PvPer, so he's able to get out of it. He knows what to look for. He knows the difference between a single combat and a multi-combat area, but... As a new player, you obviously don't know any of that. I don't even really and know. It's... Every time I see one person in the wilderness, I just assume that their friends are like right off my mini map. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, a lot of cases it is. It's yeah. The wilderness is ran mostly by clans. It's unfortunate. I never really realized how weird it was until this week seeing all the memes. And I was like, oh, yeah, like one person you expect. It's not normal for there just to be groups of people like hunting you down in the wilderness. Yeah. Like just go play Clan Wars or something. What are you doing? Yeah. And it's it's just really funny. I don't have anything against Framed. I mean, I think I've watched a lot of his videos. I think they're really funny. But yeah. it is like a really funny stark contrast because one, he's kind of like complaining like why people aren't there. But two, he's... Why would we want to be there? <laughs> why would we want to be there? Because there's clans and stuff. But two, he's also there with multiple accounts in Maxed. And oh, he's literally the person that you don't want to run into. <laughs> yeah, like, I mean, there's a big difference between Timmy that has practically no experience with, like, a budget dragon hide setup compared to, like, framed in full max melee with multiple accounts with years of experience in PvP. So it's that's 
I mean, I don't know if he's trolling with his questions on why people aren't in the wilderness. I think it's pretty obvious because there's practically no reward for being in the wilderness compared to mm-hmm. doing anything else. And on top of that, he's made, I don't know about countless, but many a video about how to skull trick people and like I really would... scummy like God, uh, practices that. in the wilderness. Uh, I'm like I, like I said, I'm not calling him a scum or anything like that. It's just I, I obviously don't, like don't that... think those are like... I don't like that practice though. Yeah, I don't think those are like good parts of the game like i don't i'm like oh skull tricking yeah that's i'm glad that's in the game that's really cool no because there's plenty of people in the game who like pvp they think it's fun it's just the thing that people don't like is being if you're gonna kill me you're gonna kill me skull tricking me that's just like i don't know it just doesn't feel right it's it's just like i don't know it's just like super low level play it's like and it's usually people who are like really high up and have money so it's like why are you even doing this yeah i don't (laughs) I mean, I definitely don't stand behind skull tricking and stuff like that, but uh, I guess that's why it was really funny watching the frame video because, like, like I said, I don't know if he was trolling and not knowing why, but, I mean, a lot of the videos he put out is why people don't go to the wilderness. Like, <laughs> like because of you. <laughs> yeah, like we said, like, PvP is cool. I do PvP in other games. I did a ton in World of Warcraft because it is relatively fair there. Yeah, PvP is cool when you sign up for it. Yeah, and I mean, you, you, sign up, you sign up for it by going into the wilderness, but I don't sign up for 1v5 and multi. Exactly. When, like, five people spec me with Bando's God Yeah, swords. if one person comes and kills me, I get it. Yeah. If one person comes and then six of their friends join in, I'm like, this feels a little unnecessary with me and just my clue scroll in my shovel. Yeah. <laughs> or, yeah, like that. The is only time I go in the wilderness annoying. is for the clues. Or like those, a lot of those people that get, um, are able to get scammed by those people getting skull tricked in other worlds. Like I've seen someone get skull tricked with Elijahs and stuff. It's like, yeah, oh. that's partially their fault for even going along with the scam. But two, it's like skull tricking just like, it, it's not something they can really remove from the game, but it's not a practice you should promote in general, I think. Mm-hmm. But uh, like I said, I don't really have anything against Framed. His videos are cool. I've watched a lot of his videos. I, but... I kind of feel like high and mighty. I'm just like, it's the principle of it. But no, it kind yeah. of is just the principle of it. <laughs> like, yeah. He's a cool dude. Nothing against him. It's just a really I don't even funny... know who this dude is. <laughs> yeah, it's just a really funny, like, stark contrast between experienced and non-experienced players and their, like, ideals and stuff like that. Yeah. So, yeah, I guess I just want to touch on that because there's a lot of that going on, a lot of PvP talk. So if you do PvP, I mean, let us know what you think. Like, is is the wilderness sick and we're just idiots for not going in it? Or Actually, if you do PvP with a group of people in the clan, I want to know why. Because oh. it's so weird to me. I mean, it's because it's like having a, it's like being in the mob. Like, you just make money for being in the mob and, like, ganging up on people. There's and it's easy. There's sociopaths. <laughs> you're no. like they're like mobsters no they're just like they're murderers <laughs> no i totally get it it's like you and the boys roll out take out a couple noobs and then you make a couple mil and you're good to go that's that's your day i mean i, I could totally see why they do it it's so funny because to me i'm like i don't get it it also just doesn't seem like it'd be as satisfying as like getting someone on your own but i'm not yeah. into pvp so i don't know yeah. Maybe it's cool. Maybe it's a weird sense of com- camaraderie. 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 Yeah, maybe I'll that just one. I'll just stick to last man standing or I'll just PVP in other games. I don't I'm like maybe we'll just pretend to stick to last man standing and never do it. Yeah, I well, I've never <laughs> been good or interested in PVP in this game particularly. I play PVP in pretty much every other game I play. Yeah, the reason I'm not interested in this game is there's so many like tactics that people can use and it seems like the fights just are done in like 1 second. Yeah. They just use magic. They freeze you, they kill you. Yeah, it's not really know. much of a fight. It's I, I like watching uh, Torvester because uh, he's another content creator. If you all don't know, Torvester he makes really good PvP videos in my opinion because it's I think what mo- like the majority of it is just based on him outplaying other people, and so not to say that he doesn't have his share of like interesting like tactics and stuff like that, but I don't know. Yeah, I, maybe it's just because I don't watch the videos that I don't really get it. Yeah, I, I'm not sure. I, I really like his videos, and they show, like, what the, like, peak of, like, ability is in PvP in this game. Because the PvP in this game is actually, like, really deep. If you, like, watch his videos for a little bit, there's, mm-hmm. like, a lot of timings and stuff like that. But I've just never really been... <laughs> I'm not good at that stuff. <laughs> I've just never been interested in it. Yeah, we're, me and Rob are very different. When he plays, he watches streamers and YouTube videos. When I play, I watch true crime documentaries. <laughs> yeah, a little bit different. Just a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, so that's going to be um, about it. I think we'll be wrapping it up 
for this week. Yeah. What are should we answer that question now or should we talk about what we're gonna do next week? Oh, let's answer it now. People have okay. been waiting this whole time. Oh, everyone's waiting. I'm yeah. so sorry to keep all of our listeners waiting. Yeah. So Tranquil Wyvern on Twitter asked also I think that this is the same person who comments on our YouTube videos sometimes. And yeah. if it is, you're our favorite person in the world. Thank you. Yeah, shout out to you. And if it's not you Still, thank you for asking a question. If not and you, And weird then, that you have the same name yeah. as this person on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, exactly. What a weird coincidence. All right, I'll ask the question so the All right. know what it so is. So they asked, not sure where to ask questions, but what color graceful do you guys like the most? I like the Brimhaven dark blue best, but the arena seems like a pain. I think I'll just go for the hallowed black and rock the Piscalarius light blue till then. First of all, I admire you for having... Yeah, you have quite <gasps> quite the goals for, oh your, my gosh. for your agility set. Yes. Me and Rob, you want to answer first? Yeah, so uh, <laughs> to put it blatantly and frankly, we don't have any colors and we don't have plans on getting any colors. We want to get to the black eventually, but it's so time consuming. Yeah, I, I haven't done <laughs> Sins of the Father, so I can't even enter the sepulcher. Oh yeah, you haven't. And um, I mean, I, I have max um, reputation with a few of the places, but um, I... I've gotten like two or three hundred of the Marks of Grace now, and I always just trade them for am Amylase because, mm -hmm. I mean, it's an easy like 10 or 15 mil every time you go in there. So, um, yeah, it's a lot of money. And That's usually why I do that. For me, as soon as I got enough Marks of Grace to buy full Graceful, I just like stopped doing rooftop. Yeah. And I went, I did like Werewolf for a little bit. And now you do uh, Pryptonus. Yeah. And I've been doing Pryptonus to get the crystal shards because I was like, oh, I'll get like the crystal like armor eventually because I think that's like really cool fashion scape. Mm -hmm. It looks like really sick. But yeah, my agility is what? My agility is 85 and I still just have the plain old graceful. Yeah. I did do the dark, uh, what's it called? The Hall Sepul Hallowed Sepulcher. Hallowed Sepulcher. Yeah. <laughs> Yesterday we were discussing it. Or a couple days ago and I kept saying the Sepulcher <laughs> and stuff like that. I don't know how to pronounce it. Yeah. We uh, called it the I Dark Scepter in the beginning. Oh, yeah. I just make up names. I did that for a while and it, like, you do get the, like, currency, like, fairly quickly. I mean, maybe not that quickly because I think it takes, like, millions. I'm exaggerating to actually get it. But... I really do want to go and get that eventually. I'm just kind of playing it off because that is something that you have to pay more attention to. Yeah. And this week I've just been like super lazy and just doing AFK stuff really. Yeah. I think also one thing that like hampers our like fashion skate progression on the agility <laughs> set is because both of us got 70 plus agility extremely early on. And it was, it, yeah and then yeah. we didn't work on it for like seven months yeah like i would recommend <laughs> i mean i would honestly recommend doing that for any new accounts if you don't know what to get up get your agility to 70 and that's about the time you'll be able to afford a graceful set once you get full graceful you cannot imagine life without it <laughs> yeah so that's i mean that's what we did i i got 70 and then i haven't worked on it since yeah, I didn't work on it until I needed it for a diary, and then I grinded to get up to 85, and it was literally like 35 hours of me yeah. running laps. Yeah, it's it's super time-consuming, and it's it's worth getting it in the beginning, but for Fashionscape, I I don't know. I'd rather just get other stuff for Fashionscape, because I'm just super I, lazy. I love the black one, though. I really want the black one. Yeah, me too. I just don't want to do Sins. I know. Yeah, Sins is really hard. And as far as the other colors, though, I do really like the light blue. I like the yellow one too yeah it's i actually have 100 percent in all those areas me too but yeah i want i want the white one which is 100 percent in all of them oh. but um it's i feel like it's it's like a pretty cool flex but also white looks so much like the original mm -hmm. i don't feel you like you can't it's worth totally it. tell unless someone else is there with you but if you're yeah. alone it just looks normal <laughs> Uh, one like side tangent about the um the reputation is they actually tweeted about uh runescape tweeted about how they're nearly done with the quest to unite all the fronts and stuff like that. Oh, I saw that on Twitter. I retweeted yeah. that, right? Yeah, yeah. And I, we're I both logged it. into Twitter, so we will just do whatever we want. Yeah, you retweeted <laughs> it, and then I went back and liked it. <laughs> and um, yeah, so it's actually pretty cool. So hopefully, they come out with that quest soon. I'm excited. I yeah. haven't done a. We haven't had a new quest in a few months. Yeah. And so, um, well, yeah, that's our thoughts on yeah, thank you the, for asking. Um, the graceful set. So, anyone feel free to ask us more questions. Um, 
Yeah, I really want the dark one. Yeah. And I really want the squirrel pet and to make the it makes the squirrel black too, right? Or does it make it red? Which one? Um I'm, I think red. I think it comes brown and you can change it red or red or black, I'm not sure. Regardless, I want it real bad. Yeah. I want a little squirrel friend. Yeah, that'd be cool. That'd be so cool. Yeah. Maybe I'll have, go and do that sometime. Yeah, I only have four cats. I need to go buy him back. I died with it. I don't have any pet. I have my hellhound. I think he's a wily hellhound right now. He got he got it's over. It's a hell cat, dude. It's not even a dog. Oh, I call it a hellhound. Yeah. <laughs> my hell cat is less impressive. For a second, you might have been like, "Whoa." Whoa, you have an uh, animal that doesn't exist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I had the. I just had a regular hell cat, and then it got overgrown because it gained too much yeah, rat weight. Because it was a thick boy. And dude. then I turned it into a wily one. Yeah. They go crazy. Yeah, he goes hard now. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that was the perfect way to ask us a question. Just hit us up on Twitter. You can DM us if you don't want it to be public, and we'll get to them eventually. Yeah, if you have any embarrassing question. Yeah. Be like, I don't know. Everything I say is embarrassing anyway, so yeah, or <laughs> no shame, everyone. <laughs> if you just want to be anonymous, you can hit us up through DMs. That's yeah. no problem. And we will not say your username. If yeah. you don't want us to, just let us know. Yeah, just mention it. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you all for listening. Oh, we should say, what are we going to be doing this week? Oh, my gosh. Fine. So um, I'll be coming out with more RuneScape videos. I'm coming out with more Valheim videos as well. So I'm not going to say exactly which ones. It's going to be a surprise. <gasps> Spoilers. Yeah. And hopefully we'll have the combination series of uh, new accounts coming out. Yep. Yeah. And I think that's really all I'm going to be working on is that and just my main account leveling up because... My only other idea for videos right now is the God Wars dungeon, which I've said it for three weeks now. I'm just waiting on Rob to want to do it with me. He's rolling his eyes currently. Uh, yeah, so we're not going to be doing that anytime <laughs> soon. I'll try to think of more ideas, but um, I'm not as creative. So we'll see what happens. Yeah. Uh, self burn. <laughs> yeah. I'll have, I'll have some more uh, guides coming out for RuneScape for sure. Mostly based around money because that's what we're going to be focusing on. That's what he's better at. Uh, well, like I was insulting you. I, I mean, as a compliment. No, yeah, mostly just it. because we we're working on the uh, new accounts, so I have a lot of ideas for yeah, you free can to play, definitely do free to play flipping stuff. as well. So yeah, we'll have some stuff coming out like that, and like I said, the Valheim video is coming out today. Yeah. Hopefully so. more RuneScape videos than we have been doing lately. Yeah. I'm also looking at new games to start trying out. So yeah. if any of you are interested in Outriders, let me know because that's a game I've been looking at. It's quite a bit more violent than any of the other games we oh, play. Oh, is it? Are you going to even be able to upload videos of it? I mean, probably because, I mean, it's it's just like Gears of War. So uh, if any of you have watched <laughs> I'm that. like, uh, uh, <laughs> I don't play any other games. <laughs> Yeah, so like for instance, there's a, a gun I got where every time I kill someone with it, their body explodes. Okay, I feel like I could have taken a video of Fran Bo <laughs> in this case. Yeah, I don't Actually, know. Actually, no, that one is yeah, Fran Bo kind of gross. Fran Bo's like morbid. It's not the same as yeah, violence. Yeah, it's not really, it's not violent. I, like, she's basically in a psychiatric hospital and she takes these pills and suddenly you see like all these like creepy images yeah it's they show her parents it's super, bodies it's sliced like, up it's like a okay it's it's, it's like a psychological yeah uh, like gore and stuff but like it weirdly that. has a hopeful ending spoilers okay. well yeah but um, yeah it's not even like that graphic or anything it's like just regular cartoons yeah still which i think makes it creepier yeah either way <laughs> uh yeah let me know if you're interested in that and maybe i'll, I'll put out some videos on that if you are not interested in it then just tell me to keep doing the runescape stuff because i like that too yeah and tell me what to do because i am not good at coming up with ideas yeah and that the end <laughs> yeah. yeah i guess so that is actually going to be the end i am really glad that you stopped by to listen thanks for coming by thank you so much and uh we'll be sure to see you all next time you can check us out if you want to follow us on any of the social medias and youtube not you can, facebook yeah not Facebook, and not Twitter. You can follow us at BoonBabe. On Twitter, it's BoonBabe OSRS, and we put out constant updates on what we're up to. I upload memes. Yeah, Michelle uploads memes, and they're actually really funny. Putting I laugh the at them work. almost every night. So And I found out if you save stuff directly from Reddit, it gives credit to the poster, because I kind of felt guilty about that before. Yeah, so you can follow <laughs> us on Instagram if you want some funny laughs every day. And yeah, thanks again for listening. Thank you so much. And we'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Bye.